everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Fagan, and yes, we are on the road this week, and one of the things I've been messing around with, which I figured I'd do a little bit of an impromptu episode, was the RF to EFND drop-in adapter from Canon. Now, it's been hard to get my hands on one of these because they've pretty much been sold out everywhere, and a few weeks ago, Best Buy happened to have a few in stock, so I figured I would put my order in and see how the ND adapter worked. Now, I've heard a lot of different conflicting information, with some people saying the drop-in ND filter from Canon works great, others saying there is a massive shift, uh, and to give you guys a TLDR, it's really somewhere in the middle. So let's go over some of the results I had while prepping for my shoot this week. So as you see through some of the footage, we first start off with using no ND filter whatsoever. And so this is straight into the camera, no ND. Then we put the ND adapter on and we use the most minimal amount of ND you can do. I tried to do as much as I could to get accurate colors on this test. It's really less about motion, more about the color cast. So we start off with the most minimal amount of ND possible. Then as we open up, we start seeing really not much of a color shift. We start going through the ND wheel. It's really hard to give you an exact amount of ND I'm using as the wheel is pretty small on the ND adapter itself. But as we start stopping down on the ND, we start seeing really not much of a color shift. And I was really surprised because it makes this ND adapter very usable. Then as we start to get towards the end of the ND filter, which me personally, I probably wouldn't use too often, but I definitely won't use it because that is where you start seeing the color shift. You start seeing this extreme blue cast, especially you can notice it in the sky. Uh, and uh, yes, it obviously is a crazy blue color cast. Uh, and if you're going to stop that down, then you know it's not gonna be that usable for you. So for me, the RF to EF adapter with its ND filter, will work for a lot of my situations. For those of you who are going to want to use the entire range of ND, there are other options. Breakthrough Photography is offering some solid NDs that do work with the adapter from Canon. They also are supposedly coming out with a variable ND filter that doesn't have the color cast at the extreme end. However, it hasn't been released yet. And as you can see, if you're going to use maybe 60 to 70% of the total ND that the Canon filter offers, this adapter will suffice and it obviously is a lot more widely available from buying it at places such as Best Buy to B&H, Adorama, eBay, Amazon. Uh, you can get it at a lot more places, but there are options for those enthusiasts or those professionals who really want the most pristine color accuracy out of your NDs that are possible. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I'm going to be using this adapter coming up in the next few videos as it just makes things a lot easier to have the ND sitting between the lens and the sensor instead of having to carry a bunch of NDs for various different filter sizes and lenses while I'm on the go. So for gimbal work, I can see this being great. Uh, really, for those guys who are running and gunning, I can also see this being great because then you can do smooth ND changes on the go and kind of ramp up your light. Uh, and it can offer some really cool options that we really haven't been able to use before unless using D-clicked lenses. And I'm looking forward to doing more tests. Uh, as I said, I'm on the road right now. I'm going to be doing a few videos while I'm out here on the road. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a video on the vehicle we're using to travel in. And like I said, it's been interesting. So look forward to more videos while I'm here on the road. If you guys have any questions about this ND adapter, feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you guys got knowledge out of this video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe and notification bell. And until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. I'll see you guys in the next video.